then they came here in 1852 and bought 500 acres where we are right now and started this house and finished it in 1854. Walking up the moss-covered bricks is like stepping back in time at one of Van Zandt County's oldest houses. It wasn't a real fancy home, but it was, it was called a mansion back then, but it's not that large. Burwell Hambrick built Roseland Plantation for his wife Elizabeth and their nine children. He grew cotton and eventually his property grew to over 3,300 acres. The bricks actually were made here on the plantation. You can look at the bricks and you'll see little pits in it and that's because we have so much iron ore here. The floors are made of native pine and cypress trees. All the rooms are original, all the walls are original, fireplaces, doors, most of the floors are original. The house has an amazing history. It was halfway between Dallas and Shreveport and they used it as a uh, stagecoach stop and they would change horses here. Old photographs reveal the people of Roseland, the first Hambrick child born in the house, James and his wife Minnie. Hambrick, two of his sons and his daughter's fiance fought in the Civil War. Hambrick and one of his sons returned from the war. But they never heard from the fiance and the daughter got so despondent that she killed herself in this upstairs east bedroom. And three days later, the guy showed up. Some believe her spirit still lives in the house. Many times we saw the light come on in this upstairs east bedroom. Even after I pulled the light fixture out of it, we had light up there. Hambrick died in 1868, his wife in 1881, and the remaining children sold the house in 1890. This beautiful old mansion was renovated in 1954, but no one actually lived here for over 100 years. When Gertrude Windsor of Tyler bought the house in 1954, this is what it looked like after sitting vacant and neglected for so long. So she was given the first uh, restoration award by the Texas State Historical Commission. Tim and Carolyn West bought the house in 1998 and they decorated it with their extensive collection of antiques. It feels right to me. It, it feels like home. It feels like a place where I belong. It's a place they have a lot of pride in and glad they're able to preserve history. It's a lot of work, it has to have a lot of maintenance, but the house is so strong, so sturdily built that it will be here for another 100 years for sure. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story.